Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Takistan custom map for the DayZ mod in Armour 2. It is a very easy installation and this guide will work for not only the Steam version of Armour 2, but also a physical version of Armour 2. So all you need to do is open up your browser and go to this address right here, there will be a link to it in the description below, it's called DayZCommander.com, and then click on the download button here and at the bottom you will see Get DayZ Commander. Just click on that and it will start downloading. Then just go to where you downloaded the program to, in my case it's in downloads, double click on it and simply install the program right there. Click next and change the path if you really want to, it doesn't matter. Click next, next and then it will start installing and I'll be right back once it's fully installed. Okay so now it's fully installed so just click on close and type daisy into start and under programs you should see daisy commander. Just click on that and the program will start launching up and once it is launched up completely you should see install slash update at the top, click on that. And there's a few different things you need to update depending on how up to date your daisy is right here. So the first thing is this right at the top which is the Armour 2 beta patch. If there's an install button right there then just click on that and it'll start downloading the newest patch. But if it just says reinstall as it does with me then you do have the newest version of that. And the second thing you're going to want to install is daisy takistan. So just click on install and that will start downloading as well. I would also highly recommend downloading the original DayZ mod, just click on the button right here, the install button to the right of that. If you haven't already, it's nice and easy, it'll install automatically, just in case you do go on one of the normal DayZ servers. But I'll be right back once DayZ Takistan is fully downloaded and installed. Okay, so the download for DayZ Takistan is almost done, and once it's all done, it will of course install automatically. If there is a new update for DayZ Takistan, there'll be an install button right here and a drop down to the left here so you can select which version you want to update to. So just make sure you're downloading the newest version of DayZ Takistan, otherwise of course you won't be able to join certain servers. So just close that and click on the servers tab and right here click on DayZ Takistan so you can only see the DayZ Takistan servers. When joining a server just make sure that you are joining the right version. As you can see this one is 1.0 and we are running 1.1. You can see these servers which you can't join are greyed out so just make sure you aren't joining a grey server but are joining a white server otherwise you might run into some issues while joining those servers. Once that's all done just find your server of choice and then double click on it and it will bring you straight in game into the server which you chose. I'm going to join this server right here just to show you guys that of course I can get in game on Takistan so I'll be right back once I am loaded up in game. Okay, so I'm now in game on Daisy Takistan. As you can see, it's mostly a desert wasteland. Of course, there is still cities, airports, all that good stuff. It just takes quite a while until you get to there, but it is a very cool map nevertheless. But anyway, if you have any issues installing it, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try to help you out. There will be a step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you do want to go read through that and figure out your problem. And yeah, if you did find the video useful or informative, then please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching.